the channel. I'm Modi J, and we are locked in. Came to Hada in season four. We know that each individual character they had their challenges, and with Kane being the oldest of the family, working directly up under Monet, his father dying, and now at the end, this war that he's going to have with Tariq, St. Patrick, and Brayden Weston, all because his sister tried to set up his mom and blamed it all on Tariq. Yeah, it's about to get crazy. Now, a couple of the challenges that we know that Kane had to deal with in season three was dealing with the aftermath of his father dying, also coming to terms with him and Effie, maintaining his grip of power that the Tejada family really isn't trying to let him have. Monet wants to interject in dealing with his mother's suspicion about his siblings and their doubt. Now, before we jump in and get the predictions of Kane going into season four, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and follow me on Instagram right here. So let's jump in and see how Kane season four is going to relate to each individual character and how are they going to overcome this potential quote unquote war. We all know that Kane was supposed to be next in line, even though Lorenzo and Monet wanted to put Drew, Kane always felt like that was his spot. And we know throughout this whole season, the whole family dynamic has started to crumble. Lorenzo was out. He found out about Lorenzo being the one that killed Zeke. Monet interjected and stepped in with the dope game when they were working up under Noma. So at this point, Kane is really looking at the family as, you guys should be leaning on me being the oldest son left. We know he's heard about Zeke being the actual oldest son, but you guys need to lean on me a little bit more, but no one is doing that. We also seen that Diana and Drew, they start to work together behind everyone's back and come up with their own plans because they want to get rid of Monet. Now for Kane going into season four, this is going to be tough because he has his family that he has to look out for. And we know that he's emotionally hurt and scarred because his mother was shot up by Tariq St. Patrick. And that's what led us to the shootout that was about to happen in the warehouse, which was a failed mission because we know villains should never talk to whoever they're about to try to take out. Villains should always just take them out and worry about it later. Shoot first, ask questions later if you're a villain. Kane ended up getting caught up with Effie. Instead of making boss moves, business moves, he started making lover boy moves. Now, the relationship between him and Effie, I pretty much think is over with, but I can see in season four, Kane still trying to make it work. Because you got to remember, Effie is on Noma's side now. She turned him down when he came to try to get her out of jail. She almost worked with Tariq, but she flipped on Tariq also. So for Kane, with Effie still being around and working directly up under Noma, he's still going to have those feelings for her. He might be hurt a little bit because she played him, but I think she's going to continue to try to lead him on and at least play him since they're on the same team in season four. Hopefully we'll see Diana get in Kane's ear and let him know that Effie isn't anyone that you want to deal with because she turned on everybody. She's also the one that put us all in this situation with the attempted murder on Lauren. Now, Kane, we started to see him have more emotions. I think it's going to be a while before he can actually cut Effie off. I think in the beginning, he might be distanced, but he's going to try to get closer to her because she still doesn't have anybody. We still don't know about her past. Kane is really big on family. Diana, his baby sister, he doesn't want her in the game. He doesn't mind if Effie sells, if Effie rolls with him, catches bodies. He doesn't care about any of that when it comes to Diana. Now, once he finds out that Diana and Drew were the ones that put that play together to potentially set up Monet and then have him kill Tariq and then they can go on about their lives, he's going to start to look at his family a little bit differently because he's been looking out for Diana and for her to do all of this and set up their own mother and then lie about it. This is going to hurt him if he ever finds that out. Now, I'm thinking that might be more of a Tariq letting Kane know, hey, you working with Noma. Your own family members were the one that set all this up. Now, will he believe Tariq? I'm not sure. And that's why I think Diana's going to have more of a role with Tariq. And Kane, he's just going to really be out here, a lone wolf, but part of the pack with Noma. Noma's going to be looking at him to use his power and force in the streets too, though. The relationship between Kane and Drew is still going to be rocky. I don't know how they're going to get through this. Kane already feels a certain type of way and he wants Drew to follow him. But Drew is a part of putting this plan together with Diana. Drew was also thirsty for power. 
you remember at the funeral, he's basically saying I'm in charge and he was coming for the throne, trying to take the necklace off of Cain. Now Drew has his own issues, but they put those behind them and they went ahead and take out the Castillos. But it's still, it's still right now a fight for that power. With Monet, MIA in the hospital, we don't know how long she's gonna be in there. One of these brothers are gonna have to step up. Now remember, Cain was up under Noma. The only way the Tejadas are in all of this is because of Cain working with Noma. So Drew might have to take a back seat. But as far as the Tejada household, Diana, I could see her being in charge and Kane being upset with that. I don't know. Drew, I think he might work with Kane and try to help him out through all of this. But at the end of the day, we know that Drew wants that power. I'm not too sure what's going to happen with Monet and Kane. I know there's a picture floating around of her and Michael Ely, but I think if she's in the hospital, she's probably going to lean to Kane a little bit more and tell Kane, listen, I really ain't trusting your siblings. We know that she can only trust Tariq, but Tariq's not going to be able to pop up and see Monet in season four because there's a war going on. So I could see her talking to Kane and asking him to try to figure things out in the streets and put together a play or two, but also to start watching out for Diana and our boy Drew. Now, I really can't say much about Monet until we see what her status is going into that season. But right now, I think that she's going to be in the hospital and at least tell Kane to try to figure some stuff out and get even with Tariq. Or she might tell Kane that it wasn't Tariq that did it. Because remember, Diana and Drew set it up. Tasha was the one that did the shooting. So if they told Kane that it was Tariq and she tells her that it was a woman, that might have Kane looking at his siblings a little bit differently. Last but not least, Tariq St. Patrick. And let me just tell y'all this. I think it's going to be on site from the beginning of the season to the end of the season. Now, I think they might at least come to talk in terms, as I was saying with Monet, maybe she tells Kane that it wasn't Tariq that shot her. It was a woman. And then Kane can at least talk to Tariq and they figure things out from there to try to get his family from up under Noma. Who knows? Who knows? Because remember, Obi is with Tariq and Brayden at this point. Kane is kind of on his own because his two siblings set up their mom. Monet, she might say, hey, look, it wasn't Tariq. And we know that Effie ain't really messing with Kane. So they always say, keep your enemies close. And that might be the direction that Kane's going to have to go in with Tariq. They might not like each other, but as far as being cordial with each other to try to navigate through these streets, I could definitely see these two working together. All right, let me know what your early predictions are for Kane Tejada. I'm seeing a lot of action in season four, but he's also going to have to start to mature a little bit. We can't see Kane just running around here like a chicken with his head cut off, doing whatever the hell he wants. He's going to need to be a little more organized if he's going to make it through season four. Now, I do have a prediction that he might be the Tejada that dies, but until then, he's going to have to get right, or they're going to try to get rid of him around episode four or five like they did his daddy. But let me know what you think about Kane Tejada. This is an early season four prediction. I'm Moda J. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.